one of the things you can do in New York Central Park is go to the zoo. And in the zoo they do have sea lions and they are publicly fed. So try and get a uh, video of that experience.
she showed is just how much she trusts her keeper. She held that fish in her mouth and she waited until she got a signal from her keeper that it was okay to eat it. It shows just how much she trusts her keeper, because remember this is her lunch, it's very tempting. But she knows that if she succeeds and she waits till she gets a signal from her keeper, she'll be rewarded with even more fish. And whiskers, those whiskers act as a sensory organ, allows the sea lions to sense currents in the water and to feel a fish, squid, or octopus. Now, Travis, you in some bubbles. <laughs> she's reminding us that she's a mammal like us. Unlike us, sea lions can hold their breath for up to 15 minutes underwater. When they're underwater, their heart rate, their body temperature, and their metabolism all drop, which allows them to use less oxygen underwater than they do on land. You also just heard Charlie barking. Barking is one of the many ways that sea lions communicate with each other. Sea lions bark as we speak to that animal as our voice is to us. Now all three of our California sea lions are adult females. They're called cows. Juvenile sea lions are called pups. And adult males, we don't have any of them here, but they are much larger and they're called bulls. An adult female sea lion can weigh 200 to 800 pounds. An adult male sea lion can weigh 800 to 800 pounds. Long term use of an animal called pinnipeds, which is the weight of You may notice the keepers pulling out their fists and the sea lions touching their toes to the keeper's fist. That's a behavior called targeting. It's one of the first behaviors that sea lions learn. That's a way for the keeper to get the sea lion's attention, and then the keeper follows up with a visual or verbal cue for the behavior that they would like to see. As you can see, our sea lions go dozens of different behaviors. Now when our keepers work with the sea lions, they use a method called positive reinforcement. They give a command for the behavior they would like to see, and then if the sea lion does the requested behavior, she is rewarded with more fish. If the sea lion doesn't do the requested behavior, well, then the keeper simply ignore it. Participating in behavior enrichment is entirely voluntary for a sea lion. Come on, guys. Up here. Oh, she's going to get the Let's go to the pet and Come on. No, no, no. I want to watch this one more time. Alright, give me a hand, give me five minutes. Do I think that? Still look at that little cool there. California sea lions are right off the west coast of North America, sailing over all the way down to Mexico. One of the best ways we can help to protect sea lions is by keeping their ocean habitat clean. 